Greetings, friends. Welcome to Through the Scriptures with Stephen, with your host, Stephen, and today's guest, Mr. Spoon. First a broom, then a hanger, and now Mr. Spoon. Now, what does a spoon have to do with the Bible? Well, what do we usually eat with a spoon? Ice cream. Delicious at the end of the meal. Even if you have to eat a dinner full of broccoli and cauliflower and Brussels sprouts with forks and knives, you can know that after that meal that some would consider absolutely repulsive, that after that potentially repulsive meal, you can know the best is yet to come. You will get out the spoon and eat that delicious ice cream. As your taste buds thank you for the great mercy you will have shown upon them. Oftentimes in this life we can face our own broccoli or Brussels sprouts or cauliflower. Disgusting situations we can get into or this may come upon us even without our own doing. Whatever it might be, whatever issue that may come up, whatever storm or giant or mountain that is coming into our lives, we can oftentimes have those vegetable experiences that can just taste absolutely awful. Maybe it's maybe it's something that was of your own doing, or maybe it's because you stood up for Christ, and it was your own doing still, but it's because it has come upon you for a good reason. Right, there's a verse that, that mentions about suffering for God rather than suffering for doing evil. I'll put that verse in the description. But just stay encouraged and know that if you truly are saved through faith in Christ, no matter what broccoli is coming your way, you can know that if you truly are in Jesus Christ through faith in Him, that it has been evidenced by repentance. The spoon is coming. The best has yet to come. Everlasting life. The best is yet to come. After you die, you will be given the spoon. Stay holy, my friends, as the journey continues. Like, comment, share, enjoy the bluebell.